Yeah, we're glad to have you with us today. And to get us started, it's 12 um, p.m. by my time. And I want to believe uh, for wherever you're joining us, you're ready to get started in this session today. So I believe um, quite a number of us have already introduced our stuff. Um, and if we haven't, oh, great. Yeah. So it's my pleasure to welcome you, and I'm just going to run through some of the names uh, because we are excited to have you with us in this particular session today. So thank you very much, Ismail from Unilag. George, thank you for um, joining this session. Mercy, Aberojo, Abela Oladipupo, thank you for joining us. Kafaya from Kwara State, you're welcome. Um, so for those of us that haven't dropped our names, all our locations, why not do well to just drop it there and we will um, welcome you because this session today is ex um, specially designed right for you. My name is Uche and I'm the head of products um, and operations, right? And I will be your host for today. In today's um, DSN Talent Program Information Session, what we're going to be doing is to provide you with all that you need to know about the DSN internship program, how it is a, um, designed to ensure that you make the most of your internship uh, um, session, your internship period, and how you can be a part of the internship programs that has churned out talent over the last six years. And I'm going to get started very quickly Right, um, we've just watched a few videos of our past instance with calling and relaying some of the their experiences in our internship programs. I believe that um, it must have sparked some curiosity or excitement uh, in you, and you can't wait to get started and be our next and uh, be a part of our next batch of amazing interns working with DSN. Okay, so let's move on very quickly to. Uh, agenda for today. I'm just going to be walking you through our DSN story, what we've built over the last six plus years, right, and how we have evolved from a, a foundation to now the leading AI enterprise and solutions development organization across Africa. And then my colleague is going to be letting you know what you need to do, right? Okay, and then my colleague will let you know what you need to do uh, about about the DSN internship program, how it is designed specially to ensure that you maximize hands-on AI skills, right, and um, knowledge, and how you can benefit from it, and what is the process that allows you to come into the program. And then we'll just take some of the past interns' testimonials that you can see for yourself and understand that this is um, one of the most robust internship programs um, that allows you to build AI and data science skills for the future. And then we'll take a little bit of our questions and answers. We've shared um, some of those questions um, and uh, some of those clarifications that you might be needing, but why not on this session? We will take your um, questions to provide further clarity to whatever um, question that you might be having. So let's move on very quickly and very fast. I would crave your indulgence. Uh, we have quite a lot to share with you today. So I'll crave your indulgence to please follow me through as I walk through um, the DSN story over the last six plus years. Okay. All right, one of the things that we are most excited about, um, about DSN, and I believe you, you should also be excited about is um, the fact that as an organization, our work has been mentioned over 10,000 times in various academic papers that um, are created on www.academia.edu. Now, academia.edu is the leading um, academic paper platform, right, uh, for researchers and uh, uh, people who are looking to get their papers out there. And our work has been mentioned over 10,000 times. That lets you know that you are working with an organization that has a reputation and has the credibility, right? And wherever it is you mention in DSN, you can be sure that you have that credibility backing you up, right? And so that's one of the things that you should be excited about. Number two, we've been able to present our academic work um, at some of the highest global artificial intelligence conferences um, that are based on rigorous peer review selection sessions. And some of those conferences um, are 
ones that you know and some you might not know, ICML, the International Conference of Machine Learning, the AAAI, um, ICLR, Neural Information Processing Network, and the much acclaimed deep learning in DABA, right? Um, we've been privileged to make our work um, known in our research papers. We've also been strategic partners to some of the world's leading academic and social group, good um, AI groups, platforms, and events such as Vodan, African and Asia, Africa, um, artificial intelligence for development in Africa, Zindi, Machine Learning Institute of Africa, DataCon, Africa, Black and AI, and amongst others. Um, some of our leading papers, right, um, as you can check them online um, on Google Scholar, ResearchGate, and GitHub. We uh, and they're open source, and you can see what we've been able to do across key um, problem segments from um, uh, fashion to education to health. We've been able to provide insights and our research based knowledge. And you can why not go out, go through that and see what we've been able to do right in that segment. Uh, we continue to ha have knowledge partnership with some of the leading global centers of excellence. Um, key among them is the University College London, uh, where we're able to work with them on malaria data analysis. And these are right here on the screen. You can see our founder with some key um, experts from the University College London. Um, we've also worked with Africa um, AI research centers like Ames in Kigali, Rwanda. Here you, we, you can see some of the internship opportunities that we've offered to students from these leading organizations or universities and institutions to come um, work hands-on with us right um, in our hubs here. So these are some of our past PhD students who have been a part of DSN. And DSN is currently working with two West African universities as part of our partnership with leading knowledge institutions, right? Um, University of Lagos is part of them um, on the application of artificial intelligence, right? In education with funding support of the Swedish and the Canadian government. You can read more about that at www.eduaihub.org. Our work has won some of um, amazing we, um, awards rights across the artificial intelligence space. And this is one of the things that we are extremely proud of and humbled that our work is receiving the recognition that it should right um, across the AI and machine learning community. Here, we won the second best academic poster at Indaba 2019. Um, here we won the best academic post at the 21st edition of the Global Economic and Computation Conference in 2020. We are also the African, the only African finalist at the 2021 X Prize competition on building artificial um, intelligence algorithm that addressed COVID-19 during the pandemic in 2020-2021. Um, the Massachusetts Institute of in um, Technology for some of us that might know the school um, MIT in the United States of America, which is one of the world's number one technology university, has recognized the work that we've been able to do in generating open data that can be used by researchers and practitioners in the AI space. Um, South African government has also recognized DSN as the number two AI center in Af Africa, ahead of many African universities. And this is something that we are extremely, extremely grateful for. And we believe that should strengthen your resolve, right, to be a part of the DSN internship program because you're coming into an organization that has the credibility and the foundation and the experience, right, as a leading AI practitioner across not just Nigeria, but the African space. Our work has also been recognized um, in the UNESCO Science Report. You can read more about that um, on the UNESCO uh, website, right? Where what we've been doing in, provi in providing AI solutions for social good as, and also democratizing access to AI knowledge has been um, documented, right, in the UNESCO Science Report. In 2021 and 2022, five of our products that were initiated, conceptualized, and developed here in Nigeria were selected among the global top 100 AI products by UNESCO IRC AI, right? Um, you can also read more about that um, at the link. My colleagues are gonna be providing some of those links in the chat session. So why not, you can just click on it, it opens on your tab and 
you can go through it much later at your convenience. Okay, moving on very quickly, we've also been able to deliver paid consulting projects for global de development agencies and some of the leading multinationals like MasterCard Foundation, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the World Bank, Chevron, Assis Bank, and amongst others. We also recognize as one of the leading AI startup catalyst platforms in Africa. Here, um, the Smart that Africa board on 75 top AI intelligence, um, artificial intelligence um, startups. We were part of those that were listed um, from Nigeria. So you can also, why not read more about that in the link that my colleagues will be dropping in the chat session. Now, as a key part of our work, we are also presenting our papers, right? The works that we've been doing at some of the leading conferences. Here, um, you can see um, our founder and lead mentor, Dr. Bayo Adekombi, presenting at the AAAI um, conference in New York, United States. We've also been part of the Pan-African Network on Artificial Intelligence, uh, which was funded by the Canadian and Swedish government. Here you can see the um, knowledge sessions and interaction with our uh, lead mentor, as a key participant. Now we've also been a, the leader, right, um, in artificial intelligence knowledge democratiz democratization, having built Africa's foremost learning and research ecosystem to a growing global presence. And in the next few slides, I'm just gonna walk you through um, some of the things that we've also done, right, in this space. Here you see some of our staff members, right, and our leads, here in um, GSN AI, participating um, at the ICLR conference in 2023. Here, our um, lead was also participating here at the Deep Learning Daba in Tunisia. We had team um, from Nigeria, right, who were um, participants there at the conference in Tunisia. We also participated at the AI for Development Committee um, implementation workshop in 2023 um, in Senegal. And here, more recently, right, at the AI conference um, in Kingali, uh, lead data scientists, right, also participated um, there. Now, beyond participation, presentation, and awards recognition that we've gotten in the AI space, uh, we've also seek to deliver AI knowledge and ensure that it is very much accessible, not just to students um, in tertiary institutions or researchers, but also to students within the K-12 segment. And how we've been able to do that, we've uh, written the first artificial intelligence and Python book for elementary students and beginners in Africa. Now, this book breaks down machine learning and artificial intelligence in easy to understand and very interactive um, manner, right? Such that the students from in K-12 can begin to learn these concepts in a simple, fun, and exciting way. So here is just, um, here we have um, excerpts from the book, right? Um, taking the students through machine learning, through Python in simple um, languages for them. Yep. So beyond making it available to the students, we also did provide it to the teachers who are their first point of call within their schools, right? Because of course, the teachers also should be able to kind of like deliver this knowledge to them, right, in the classes and have these conversations or these um, sessions with them, right, where they discuss on the um, examples, right, of artificial intelligence solutions like the Google um, AI Assistant, Siri, and the rest of them, which they interact with, but they might not understand the technology uh, behind it. So the teachers, we did a lot of training to just walk them through how to make use of the book. And here you can see some of, of the excerpts and uh, follow-ups from the sessions. Yeah. Now, within that space also, the K-12 segment, right, ensuring that that knowledge is available to them. We also do hold our summer um, AI coding boot camps, right, and summer schools for kids. 
here you can see us right going all the way to Maduguri, Bono State to have this AI and coding summer school for the students in the Northeast Children Trust Fund here in Maduguri. And um, over 250 students participated in the seven day learning summer school. So you can just see the photo ops from that session. Moving on very quickly. All right, moving on very quickly. Um, sorry, my network. Okay, so we've also made the book available to them. Now, like I mentioned earlier, right, it's not just important enough for we to help the students, but the teachers who deliver this knowledge to them, the teachers who deliver this knowledge to them also needs to be equipped with that on um, hands-on knowledge that allows them to discuss with the students and share their um, understanding with them on artificial intelligence and digital skills. So these were hands-on sessions that were held for teachers. We call it the train the teachers session, right? Um, here we have over 1,000 um, teachers that were trained in Ogun State, right, in one of those sessions. A big part of our knowledge democratization drive is the DSN AI in every city where we have different hub centers where students and uh, enthusiasts can go learn and be a part of their uh, classes, right? In these centers, we have experts who share with the students in um, artificial intelligence, data science, and a project that they are able to get their hands into and then build that artificial intelligence skill, right? So over 70 70 locations across Nigeria. We've had that and we continue to have that. So within this particular uh, session, we'll be dropping some links where you can um, see the center closest to you, right? So just interact with them and see what they're doing and see how you can be a part of it. All right, moving very quickly. Okay, so please confirm you can hear me very well now. Um, Lay a day. Yes, okay. All right. Okay. All right. My apologies for that, um, but I believe it's clearer now. It's still low, Lay a day. Okay. Let me. All right. Thank you, Osa Louis and Abo. Thank you. Um, all right. So let's move away quickly. I would as much as possible, try to be very audible um, going forward. Thank you. Okay, so here you can see the participants from our AI in every city, right? So like I said, the links will be dropped in the chat session if they haven't already. I believe they will be dropped in the session um, in the chat um, room. So you can click on some of those links, right? And see cities or centers that may be closest to you. So these are also photo ops from those sessions. Okay. Um, and this is one of the biggest um, part of the work that we do, the DSN AI Bootcamp, right? Here you have photo ops from our AI Bootcamp, which is held annually, where we bring the best of the best in artificial intelligence among practitioners, young people, right, in a all expense paid boot camp, right? Um, we've done this over the last few years, right? And it's something that we're looking to also uh, bring much more partners, right? To ensure that the skill, right? Um, covers a lot more persons. It's an amazing experience with experts in artificial intelligence from all across the world. And why not? We'll be sharing a lot more about some of these of our, our programs in this session. Okay, so moving on to moving on to the next session because of our time, I believe um, our time is fast spent. So you can see these are just photo ops from the boot camp um, that we've held.
Now, please confirm if you can, if my screen is still um, up, please just let me know. Very important. If my screen is still up, I can see it very clearly. If you can't, do let me know. Um, Course, because of some network fluctuations. Thank you. Thank you, um, if you're getting it. All right. So here you have partnerships um, um, in AI-based hackathons for different segments of the um, nation, right? Here we partnered with one of the leading energy organizations in Africa, right, to hold an AI for energy um, pitch presentation. So we had young people who are AI practitioners come um, pitch their solutions. And they were, of course, um, they won both financial um, support and also uh, an ecosystem of mentors to help them further develop their um, solution. Okay, and here you have all of the follow-ups from such sessions. So moving on very quickly, I, uh, because of our commitment to ensuring that there is equitable representation, right, of not just uh, uh, young people, but also uh, young ladies, right, we have a dedicated, yes, and ladies in AI platform where we encourage and intentionally stimulate young ladies who are looking to get into artificial intelligence and data science, right? So the DSN Ladies in AI platform provides that support, learning, and resources for these young um, ladies to get into the, um, AI and also develop and accelerate their career growth. So the DSN Ladies in AI platform, of course, we're having a session very soon for this particular, uh, for the ladies in the next few days, the link will be dropped and we'll also speak about it in this particular session. It's specifically for our ladies to help them accelerate their career in artificial intelligence. So the next of our, um, just to quickly let you know about this, the next event, because like I said, it is an intentional effort to include, right, and drive female participation in artificial intelligence and their representation. So we're going to be having a design thinking masterclass um, on the 27th, which is tomorrow, right, um, with one of the practitioners of um, data science um, and artificial intelligence um, who will be joining up with our data scientist in the house, Olua Shemunifemi, right, to explore how you can uh, leverage design thinking for machine learning. So moving on very quickly, here you also have uh, upcoming community events. So these links will be dropped in the comment session, right? Please, you can click on it to register for our upcoming um, hackathon. Another link that will be dropped is a link to our Microsoft, JSON Microsoft 50 days of learning, right? click on it and see how you can be a part of it. Because of our time, I'm just gonna be rushing through this, right? I wish we had a lot more time to just break down and explain more of this, but why not? Click on those links and you can learn a lot more about this. Now for our, for our internship programs, right? To ensure that you, we provide you with the ambience and the resources to work. We have a dedicated AI research lab here in um, Yaba, Lagos, where you're going to be working from, right? Uh, because of our time, I won't be playing the video, but over the course of this entire in, um, internship, you will see some of the leading and cutting edge resources that we have for you to ensure that you are able to maximize and accelerate your growth in artificial intelligence. Now, these are products that we've also built as we translate what we've done in research into usable and marketable solutions for the mass market. So we built prescribe right, macro tutors, spot on. These solutions are, some of them are currently available on um, Play Store. You can read about them or go to our uh, uh, page right um, our DSN Foundation website, and you can see some of the, the um, more details about these products that we've built. Right. Our time is fast spent, and I would really, really love to move fast. Our global footprint has allowed us to establish our presence right in multiple countries, right from Uganda, Ethiopia, Kenya, Benin Republic, Morocco, Algeria, UK, and also in Dubai. We have presence in all of these locations, right, as we continue to expand 
our um, growth, right, and ensure that we bring in the best of the best knowledge, right, in ensuring that Africa's talent in artificial intelligence continues to grow. Okay, so without taking further time, I would be calling my colleague, um, Sheoni Femi, who will be telling you about what the DSN internship program entails and how you can be a part of it. So Sheoni, uh, we can take it from here. All right, thank you Uche for the beautiful presentation of our amazing work at DSN. Please confirm my voice is audible. Yeah, we can hear you very well, Cheryl. All right, thank you. So I'm sure everyone of us is expectant of what DSN internship is about. So I'm Uluwa Shoni Femi, I'm a data scientist at DSN, and I'm going to be walking you through what you need to about our internship program. And I'll also take a bit of our past intense testimonial. So the first question that comes to mind is why intern at DSM? What makes us unique? What makes us different? So I would like you to check out our first set of interns. Our first set of interns at DSM made it to the newspaper. Our first two interns, Jedidaya and Timelei, I want to confirm if my screen is moving. All right, great. So our first intern, Jedlai and Tenile, both working in Google UK right now. At about four years ago, they were interning at DSN, and you know they were working on using natural language processing to understand financial fraud pattern using social media text. I mean, that is super amazing. And over the three, over the past three years in a row, our interns have won the best academic paper in Indaba Hex. For those who don't know what Indaba Hex is, so Indaba Hex is the gathering of machine learning and AI expert in Nigeria, and it's an experience that will not be the same. So we've been winning the best paper back to back for the past three years, isn't that amazing? So what are the things that you might be doing? So if you are finally selected for this internship role, what are the things that you'll be doing? We'd like to you know, so I will give you a hint of what you are to expect. All right, so yes. So one of the first things is you'll be writing and working on academic research papers like name entity recognition for some Nigerian languages. You'll be building large, high fidelity, multilingual, and uniquely African speech corpus. And you know, you'll be working on those papers. You are going to be you know, sharpening your research and technical skills, especially in NLP, which is natural language processing. Secondly, you'll be building AI-powered products. You know, an example is with what you have on your screen now, right now, one of our award-winning products, Learn at Home, is a recommendation engine that uses SMS and low internet. I think I need to stress that low internet to deliver personalized and adaptive learning to millions of learners in rural areas. You know, what that means is you're using feature phones like what you have on your screen right now, you use that kind of phone to profile, to track, and um, model learning experience for each student. Isn't that amazing? So those are some of the things you'll be doing at DSN as an intern. Also, you'll be translating human mobility and geospatial data sets to understand behavior and commercial opportunity for global organization. You'll be working with different mobility data for this purpose. I mean, a lot. And I, I know, let me just give you an hint into that. Working with like Facebook data, the tree data, different. I mean, you're going to get your hands dirty on real life, you know, data set. Also, you'll be writing learning content, you know, curriculum building and teaching DSN community members, both online and on site. So you know, it's always good to give back to the community. And if you look at the, in the screen right now, our first two interns, the day and today, they were also here teaching, you know, giving back to the community, teaching part of our community members, either online or on site. So these are the things you'll also be doing. Also, you're going to be building client dashboard using Power BI, DHIS2, with a lot of background analytics. I mean, the dashboard you're looking at, it was built on lots of, lots of analytics at the back end. And these are the things that the client centric in the you know, centered around the client, making sense of their data. So these are the things that you will be doing. Also, you'll be participating on some projects. So that means beyond the office experience, you know, be part of people's success stories. You know, example of what you have on screen is Microsoft, you know, they're going out there, you know, facilitating, you know, volunteering. 
We have TikTok and some projects. We have Meta, you know, Facebook, and a lot like that. You're going to be out there speaking with people, you know, really, really being part of people's um, success story. And you know, one of the things we pride ourselves in, in making impact, not just within the office world, but outside and globally, across Africa and all over the world. Now, to show you how impactful our internship has been, I would like to show you some of you know, our past things. I think you need to see what, okay, so this, you've seen two of them initially that, that they are working in Google UK now. So how about the other? We have so many software story and what you have in the screen now is just some of, you know, a lot of our interns. So we have Okoyemi Osafudi. She's currently, you know, a research postgraduate student at the University of Edinburgh in UK. We have Elisha, who is an AI research product design studio. We have Amina, she knows she's a research intern at EPFL in Switzerland. Bimileke is a machine learning engineer. And you know, a lot of others here. We also have brand data scientists as fair money. So what we you know, what we are going to be inviting you with are things that you're going to go out there and know industries are just like, wow, this person has been, you know, has really been loaded with the old load. So we 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 are DS and we are actually going to give you all it takes to stand out. So uh there's also a a, a um, a testimony I would like you to listen to it, just a short video of one of our past interns. So just um, sit back and listen, just about uh, one minute, 23 seconds. Good day. My name is Adeniba Oluwadamiyo. I'm a senior secondary school student, and I recently concluded a two week internship with Data Sciences Nigeria. It was an educational journey as I was able to witness the budding AI community in Nigeria firsthand. I was also able to create, test, and train my own model, as well as understand why AI models and softwares fail to work and how I could contribute towards solving those problems. I was also exposed to other other skills such as presentation skills, communication skills, and leadership skills, which will no doubt come in handy later on in life, no matter what path I choose. Overall, it was a very enriching experience that I will recommend to anyone who has an interest in AI, robotics, technology, and how they all involve the fast-moving pace of our world. I would like to use this opportunity to once again thank the DSN community for taking me in, and I am looking forward to joining you all once again. Once more, thank you very much. All right, our story is amazing, right? So, I mean, she spent two weeks. So we have different, you know, categories of internship and one of it is what we are briefing you about. Okay, so she spent two weeks and looked at the tons of things she has been able to do. So, you know, now let's talk about what are the benefits of DSN internship for you? What do you stand to gain? So the first thing that we have a structured curriculum on geospatial AI, natural language processing, AI for good, and general data science application. So what that means is that from the first day you're coming in, you have what you're going to learn. So this is not about just coming and like you're trying to find your footing. There's a curriculum, more, more or less like a school curriculum that will take you day-to-day -day activities mapped out for you. So we are so intentional about this. You know, secondly, you have access to participate in industry level projects, some of which is what I've actually shown earlier. You tend to work on real life projects, industry level, and not just, you know, global projects, which is one something we pride ourselves in. So the third benefit is that you participate in minimum writing about four high quality research papers that can be published at world class conferences, you know, like I shared earlier, our papers as one, you know, the best paper back to back you know, for the past three years in the and beyond that, in top AI conferences, you have the ability, the privilege to actually present your papers. Also, you have access to global mentors, so mentors that, you know, 
Now, probably you are looking like the fact that, oh, can I meet this person? You no, know, DSN give you the opportunity to attend the meeting with them, conferences, you get to speak with them, you get to meet them. And they also, they also mentor you. So those are some of the amazing things that you, get, you are going to benefit in this program. So yes, you're also going to be participating in DSN community as a knowledge source to our large network of young data scientists. So we have young people coming up. My colleague was showing people in K-12, you know, people just starting out, what is data science, they don't even know what AI is about. So you learn to contribute and, and that is the AO, it brings the fact that you are giving back to the community and community, you know, the other community is one of those things that we all dear to our heart because it is how we change people's lives and you know, we write their story. All right, finally, one of the benefits also is you have an atmosphere to learn, to try with all that smart, digital, savvy, young talent. You know, it's, it's so interesting in this place. You have people of like mind, you know, people that can inspire you to you know the can do spirit. Yeah, you need to get this done. We need to get these tasks done. This project, you need to be deliverable. And so those are the amazing things. So DSN is a place to learn. It's a place to grow. It's a place to try, you know. And, you know, I'm going to be handing you over to my colleague, Uche. And, you know, Uche will be walking you through the process now. How do I apply the step by step process of how to apply, you know, to for this um, particular category of internship? So I'm really hoping to see, you know, some of you soon. So I'm going to hand over to Uche now. So over to you, Uche. Thank Uche. you for that big sale walkthrough. I believe, um, guys, you can, I mean, already start envisaging and, I mean, vision yourself right seeing yourself as a major uh participant in the dsn internship program and if it doesn't get you excited i don't know what will <laughs> so right now i'm just going to walk you through how the application process will go because now you've seen what it affords you you've seen how you can um what you can get to benefit from the program right now how do you go about applying for the DSN internship. Let's move very quickly. So it's an end-to-end -end process. It starts with the application. You have to fill the application form that will be made available and submit your CV. You're required to have mastered the fundamentals of Python programming, and you should be able to perform the necessary daily tasks of a beginner level data scientist. That is like a given. And so please, it's important that you have that fundamental. Then there will be an online as, um, um, assessment right to verify your python programming skills um, the link will be sent to you right to do the online python code based um, project and you must ensure that the submission is made on or before the specific closing date and all your submissions will be validated your submission codes will be validated validated so you please ensure that you do it by yourself right uh, it's very important then after that we will have a physical assessment here um, in our, the DSN AI Hub, where the best submissions will be selected and the applicants will be given an academic paper to read and summarize. The assessment will focus on problem solving, writing, knowledge synthesis, and presentation skills. Finally, there will be an interview, which is more like a get to know you typical conversation, right, where we want to understand the values, culture, alignment, and personality assessments. After you've gone through all of these, the selected interns will then be taken through an onboarding process that will run for a week, where we'll be sharing with you the DSM culture and values, and also a research workshop where you'll be shown how to write and review research papers. Because definitely at the end of your internship, you will have turned out at least minimum three research papers, right? That you can say, okay, this is what I've done right, during my internship. And that's part of your own um, portfolio, okay? So this is uh, a walk through the geospatial skill assessment sample, right? Um, just to let you know how um, we structure the assessment. So this is a typical case study for your assessment. Want to see you get your hands dirty with real life geo coded data sets and extract meaningful insight that will drive input, medical access, and optimal resource allocation that can support people living in complex areas. So that, that's a typical case study. Um, so you can see here another um, um, assessment um, sample 
you making his uh, mobilization of local citizens to collect geocoded images of health indicators that could potentially cause illness in their communities. And here you can see a dashboard um, that was built from all of the data that was collected. Okay, now we've come to the part where we will be taking your questions and providing answers and clarifications to some of the things that we've shared in this session. Um, so to help us, I'm just going to be taking these questions, going through the comment session, right, to see some of the questions. And if you haven't, um, if you haven't um, dropped your question, okay, <laughs> the questions are coming in their torrents. So I'm just gonna take it one after the other, uh, yeah. So there's a question on, is there an age barrier, right? Um, no, we do not have. We do not have that, right? Um, just to put that out there quickly. When does the internship begin? So right after, okay, just a minute, please. Okay, so I just need to kind of like um, get the collated questions, right? Because my colleagues were helping me to provide, I mean, to collate the questions and make it available to me. Okay, so I'm just going to walk through some of these questions, which I believe, um, right, should provide further clarity um, because we've, what we've done is to aggregate the questions. A lot of us are dropping questions that are similar in their context, right? So we've aggregated them. Um, said, I'm not in Nigeria, so I'm wondering if it's possible to do the internship fully remotely. Okay, so our internship, right, um, is more physical, right? Um, so we, because of course, we require some of the interns, right, to be here at our DSN AI hub, and that's a major part of our internship. Um, however, we will be communicating to you, right, We'll be communicating to you, right, um, in this particular application, right, all that you need to know. Okay, all that you need to know, right, in um, getting into the physical internship. So, like I said, I'm Hidu. Um, I we really appreciate the fact that you want to be part of the internship in as much as you're not in Nigeria yet, um, currently. Um, but we are very much into um, ensuring that our interns are physical in a location, right, where we can, I mean, really walk them through and, um, the entire process. Yeah. How can I get in uh, the internship with DSN? So, of course, after this session, right, more information will be provided to all, everyone who has registered for the internship, I mean, for this particular session. I believe that you registered for this session. So more information will be sent to you, right, um, after this session. Does the internship offer any stipends? Yes, we do offer stipends for the internship. Um, what's the work ethic physically five days a week? Um, currently, we expect, I mean, uh, five days a week is the basic expectation, right? But the times when we are, very flexible and then we let you um, kind of like walk from home but five days a week we are here and maybe one day you can walk from home right um, as we um, communicate to all of our both interns and staff right but ideally we work um, five days a week from the office um, what's the benefit of the internship and how can it be a part? Okay of course I've mentioned we've you've seen some of the benefits right and for how you can be a part I've just walked through the um, internship pro application process. So why not? All of that will be sent to you, right? Because you've registered um, for this session. It will be sent to you and then you can um, pick it up from there. 
Okay, so let me just take more questions. A lot of us are asking is the incentive comes with a stipend, right? I think I've answered that already. Okay. Um, the foundation knowledge um, for, is there any foundation knowledge? I've highlighted that already in the application process that we expect that you have foundational Python programming knowledge, which will allow you work on the um, uh, work on the assessments. Okay. So another key question, is there any networking or job after the internship? Okay, for the internship, um, currently we do not guarantee or provide any um, job after the internship. However, because of our large network of partners and also um, 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 organizations who we've worked with over the last few years, right? Opportunities can definitely come up and why don't we make it available to those who are in our community and some of our interns, but we do not, we are not guaranteeing um, any job after the internship. Do you need to have, definitely you need to have foundation of Python programming knowledge. Okay. Another uh, quick question, is internship only on geospatial niche? No, the internship is not only on geospatial niche. However, that niche is one of the key niches that we are, uh, we are focusing on. So geospatial NLP, our major focus in our internship for um, um, uh, our interns, right? So definitely, we like we've mentioned, all you need, we need you to have is just the basic Python programming knowledge, right? Being able to make it a Python for data science. Um, and once you get in, then we can begin to put you um, um, in any of this particular niches. So we're not just focusing on just spatial, Okay, we're not just focusing on job special, we're also focusing, I mean, NLP is another big part of um, what we do it. Okay. Someone said, if someone is an undergraduate whose school calendar offers four months for internship, must one be available for the six months? Um, like we showed you earlier, we have different structures for our internship, right? Um, in the video that we played, um, if you watch that video, that was like a um, four weeks internship for that, um, young lady, right, who shared our story. So we definitely have different structures of intern, um, of the of timeline for our internship. You get, we have that. And um, once you go through the application process, um, we will accommodate um, have two, three weeks, um, four months, three months, six months. We are able to um, cater to all of those um, segments, right? So what's the timeline of the process from submitting the application? Okay, so like I mentioned, that will be communicated in the email, the entire breakdown of what the um, application submission dates will be, that is the, um, the first assessment. And then when you come in for the virtual um, um, assessment, and then for the physical assessment and the interview, right? All of those dates will be captured in the email that will be sent to you. So you can look forward to um, expecting that, right? Every single breakdown of that timeline. Would there be a provision for accommodation for people who are not based in Lagos and are eligible for the internship? All right, so currently we do not make provisions for accommodation for uh, those who um, uh, will be going through the internship, right? Um, so we would, encourage everyone who wants to be part of the internship right to as much as possible um find ways right um to because of course we provide stipends so find ways to like um sort that out right um if you're going to be getting into the internship program because we do not provide accommodation um thank you so let me see if there are any other questions that i have not taken Okay, so can a beginner undergraduate join the internship? Uh, okay, like I think I've specifically mentioned this um, or addressed this right on the different segments or the different timelines for our internship, right? So if your, um, say your internship, right, your IT program in your university that falls um, within, I mean, you want to go for IIT and just have four months, why not? go to the, um, the entire application process, right? And you do let us know, um, right? 
and then we definitely can work that out. So right, as long as you have the foundational Python programming knowledge and um, your base in Lagos, right, will let you, um, you can go through the application process and be a part of the um, internship if you qualify for it. Um, what else again? James Alvin, would there be any innovation hub in Kenya? At least we get equal opportunities. Um, thank you very much, James, for that question. Uh, we continue um, our efforts to extend right, and expand our reach um, across more, more, uh, more African countries. So definitely it's part of what we have in the pipeline um, to ensure that we have much more centers, right? Currently, we do not have any innovation up in Kenya, but it's something that we have in the pipeline and we will keep you updated um, once that um, is set up. Okay, I hope I answered the question, James. Um, a lot of people, would there be a portfolio to build after? Definitely, you will have, I mean, the projects that you worked on, right? And the people, the, um, your, the data scientists that you'll be working on will ensure that you have your portfolio, right? That you can say, this is what I have. After, I mean, after my period of internship with GSN, it's important because of course, that what you will use, right? Maybe for your um, master's scholarship application in data science or in AI, or also to perhaps get a um, job. So you will have that portfolio that say, okay, this is what I worked on um, in, during my time in TSN. Ima, just said out, so is it only available for, to those in Lagos? Or people in other states can participate in the states. So, like, I, I think I've addressed this question. Emmanuel writes that we are very much um, um, particular about ensuring that our interns, right, are physical here in Lagos. However, right, um, in the email that will be sent to you after this, much more information is going to be provided, especially for those who want to participate in the internship, because of course we are having a lot of opportunities um, for work right in that just special and NLP sector where you um, interns or would be interns will be working on. So in the email I was sent to you, we will be sharing a lot more right on that. But first, it's important that you I let you know that okay, our interns currently work um, from the hub here in Lagos. Yeah. Okay, I, I will be taking just a few more questions as we begin to um, round up this session. Does the foundation on Does the foundational Python knowledge skills needed? Does it include tools, library, and model? Um, so I believe this question um, is very, very um, important and valuable to everyone on the session, right? So like we said, right, it's, found, um, it's foundational Python programming knowledge. And of course, once you have that um, foundational Python programming knowledge, we expect that you are are well, and you might have used the Python libraries and the modules like Pandas, um, Sky Citlen, Citlen um, your um, NumPy, right? Those foundational Python libraries, you should on, get your hands dirty or you should have known how to use that, right? Those are what we expect, right? If you um, are going to be able to kind of like solve the, uh, the assessments. So they're just the foundational libraries, yeah. Can you reshare the internship objective for the Joe Special track? Okay. Um, so I'll just share that. I'll go back to that question. Um, let me take more other questions. Power BI dashboard seems very important for the internship. Would I be considered if I just want to start learning Power BI? Okay. So we have mentioned that um, for the for the assessments, right? It's on Python. So if you do and you are able to kind of like effectively so, um, successfully finish the assessment and submit and you go to the program, right? And you are selected as part of the internship. In the program, that is once you get in, why not Power BI will be introduced to you? Uh, because of course, while Python has some visualization features, Power BI is a better visualization tool, right? 
and we expect that as you build your presentation skills, you should be able to make it on Power BI. So definitely you can still apply, right? Um, even if you are just learning Power BI because it, the assessment is Python, yeah. If someone is currently seven and the NYC ends in November, can they see apply for the internship? So for an NYC that ends in this November, that's about July, August, September, October, that's about six months from here. Um, so we can I, definitely, because of what I've mentioned earlier about uh, different timeline structures for uh, internship, right? We can definitely see um, how to get you into the internship, right? If your um, NYC service is ending in November, however, the foundation is that you have gone through the program, you've gone through the assessments, you've uh, gone through all of the interview and you're selected. Definitely we can work that out. Okay, so let me see if there are any other questions that I've not taken. All right, my colleagues have also um, been very helpful. Thank you very much. They provide a lot of answers to this question. So I believe that we are uh, furnished enough uh, right now to understand how the internship goes and what is expected, right? Um, of this internship. Remember, um, the end goal, right, is that you come out of this internship program, right, as a an AI talent that's able to um, like now grab and access better and bigger opportunities. You can see some of those uh, interns that we um, past interns that we shared, right. Well, currently working with Google UK, um, who are, some of them have gone to set up their own AI um, startups, right. So. It's a robust and in, um, in intensive program, but the goal is to ensure that you are grown and groomed as an AI talent for the future, right? And I believe that you will, like, I mean, you will go up through the entire application process because it is extremely valuable, extremely valuable. Okay, so um, final question, right, before we call it a day. Are there any academic credentials to be submitted before one can be selected? We highlighted that at the very beginning, just your um, CV is the only thing that we expect. Your CV is what we are expecting um, in the application that you, you will be doing from the very beginning. Remember, there are six distinct steps in the entire application process. So after this session, like I mentioned, an email will be sent to you that captures um, the application form and then you can get started there. The CV is all we require. All right, guys, thank you so much for being a part of this session. I believe that it has been very enlightening for you, right, as uh, one of the persons that we expect that in the next few months from now will be joining us in DSM as one of the amazing group of interns getting um, their hands dirty in some of those areas from NLP to geospatial, as in to democratizing AI knowledge rights by sharing um, this knowledge in DSN. So we look forward to you going through the entire application process and ensuring that you make it through. It's rigorous, but it's extremely valuable, right? and you will be glad that you went through the process. Um, thank you very much. I believe that you have gotten most, if not all, right, um, of the information that you require to participate in the application process. So why not, once you get the email um, with, with the application form, please go ahead and get started. We are extremely looking forward to seeing you in DSN over the next few months as one of the successful interns um, in our program. Thank you so much for your time. And I believe that you will have an amazing day ahead. Good day, everyone. And let's have a great day. Bye.
importantly, a really well for you to fair. I am a four hundred level computer science student of Olabia Sarumatamba University. I am currently on a six month internship with PSN as a research and innovation intern. full of learning and have acquired practical knowledge in my chosen field of study. I've been able to build a network of friends and mentors who have been a source of inspiration to me. Here in their saying, you are, you are taught teamwork and how to be a good team member and how to ensure you deliver your deliverables and targets on time. The, the environment is conducive for learning and the conducive spirit is here is so infectious and strong and, ha and I'm happy to be here. Now, I have a clearer understanding of AI and data science and machine learning and the application to everyday challenge. Lastly, I've been able to come up with a machine learning web app that can predict the annual salaries of data scientists, which I'm happy about. Okay, my advice to intern nowadays is that TSN provides the best learning opportunities for you as an intern. With the right attitude and willingness to, to learn, nothing can stop you. You will surely rediscover yourself and your area of interest in the emerging field. Thanks to everyone who made my stay here at DSN wonderful. Thanks to everyone. DSN has convinced me that I am in the right field, that I did not choose to do the wrong profession. Special thanks to Dr. Bayer and ED who approved my internship here. Thanks to Thanks to my teammate, Ms. Wura Oyebusi, and my team members. Thank you for your support and care and love. I love you all, and I'm forever grateful to you.